Chances are you've experienced a headache in the past, whether it was due to trauma, being sick, eating ice cream, or just for no good reason at all. So what causes headaches? Headaches are one of the most common medical complaints and have affected practically everyone at some point in their lives. You can often feel like your head is going to explode or your brain is throbbing. But in actuality, your brain itself doesn't have any sensory nerve endings, so you can't feel pain. This is why sometimes surgeons can operate a patient's brain while they are still awake. Headaches are generally divided into two groups, primary and secondary. Primary headaches are the most common ones that affect people and secondary headaches are usually the ones with more serious underlying medical issues. So first, the primary headaches. The main ones are migraines, tension headaches and cluster headaches. Migraines affect one side of your head usually and it's thought that the cause of migraines is due to chemical messengers in blood vessels. A common theory is that serotonin and other chemicals can cause blood vessels in the brain to swell and become tender. This swelling stretches nearby nerves, causing them to signal to the brain that you're feeling pain. Tension headaches usually feel like a tight band around the head, and they're usually due to your muscles, in particular the muscles in your neck, shoulders and head. If these muscles are stressed out or are too tight from a long day, it can lead to a tension headache. It's also possible to get them from eye strain, such as wearing the wrong glasses or staring at a screen for too long. Cluster headaches are uncommon, but they can be very severe and usually felt around the eye. Now while migraines have been linked to serotonin, cluster headaches are linked to histamine, which affects the flow of blood. But overall, no one really understands the causes of cluster headaches. But it does seem that constricting and dilating of blood vessels is partially responsible for headaches. This is why some people get headaches if they skip their morning coffee. Caffeine acts as a vasoconstrictor, so skipping it would lead to high blood flow. And something similar also happens when we eat cold things like ice cream. When you eat ice cream, it causes the blood vessels in the roof of your mouth to constrict and then later they dilate when they warm up, causing an increased flow of blood and thus the headache. So do you get headaches? And if so, what do you do for them? Let me know in the comments below and if you haven't already, hit that like and subscribe button. And as always, I hope you have a great day.